Augustine, early in his career, wrote a, a treatise called The Freedom of the Will, and he never retracted that, despite his strong teaching on predestination. So, the question is, do we have free will, unlimited, we can do whatever we want, whenever we want, or is our will limited by our nature? Is our will limited by God, limited by a higher power? I'm going to try to answer that question today. And he never retracted that because when he talked about the freedom of the will, what he really meant was that you have a genuine will that genuinely operates according to the way you want it to operate. So in that sense, you could call that will free. It's a real will, it's a choosing will, and it has freedom to do what it wants. I think he hit the nail right on the head there. Um, I do not disagree with that statement at all because the way he is explaining it is that there is a certain amount of freedom to the will, meaning that whatever I choose to do, I, I'm going to do. I want to do it. I'm going to do it for the most part. Now, the reason I say for the most part is because, hey, if I want to pick up the phone and call somebody, I pick up the phone and call somebody. That was what I willed to do, and I did it. However, sometimes I might have in my mind that I want to make a phone call. I want to call somebody, but then something happens and I forget or I don't do it or I do it at a later time, and it turns out that when I actually did get the chance to call that person, they was like, man, I, I needed to hear from you. It was right at this moment that this and that and the third was going on, and I needed to hear from you right now. So then what do we say about the will in that? Do we say it was our free will that we did not make that phone call when we didn't make the phone call? No, because our will said, hey, I want to call this person right now. However, something impeded upon that will at that very moment, I forgot uh, the kids were being rambunctious or I had to go cook a meal really quickly. Whatever it was impeded on the fact that my will wanted to do something. Something else impeded on that. Who was in charge of whatever else impeded on my will? And for the fact that when I did finally get around to making that phone call, it was in the exact time and at the exact moment when that person needed me, you would have to say that was what? Divine providence, that God had something to do with that, that I couldn't call when I wanted to. So then we see in the play, when we actually start to think about it, yeah, there's some, sometimes things impede on our will. Sometimes some someone else's will supersedes my will. The Reformed doctrine of total depravity is not that we don't have a functioning will, it's that we have a will that always acts in accordance with our fallen, depraved nature. So we always freely will against God until we're regenerated. Okay, so what he's saying here basically comes from the Bible. Romans chapter 3 verse 10 says, As it is written, none is righteous, no, not one. No one understands. No one seeks God. All have turned aside. Together they have all become worthless. No one does good, not even one. Most people, when they use the phrase, the freedom of the will, mean that I'm perfectly free to choose for God or against God. Okay, so basically what this is saying about what we want to call free will, because technically it's not free, but... We're free to sin as much as we want from the time we are born to the time we die. If God had never impeded on our will, if God had never changed our mind when we were getting ready to make that phone call, if God didn't do something to set us down and make us think differently about the way and the manner we were carrying our lives, then we would still be living in the world. We would still be doing whatever it is we wanted to do. We would not have ever chosen God. We would not be in church loving God. We would probably be playing church. We would probably show up every Sunday and care nothing for 
the doctrine of truth. We will care nothing about the gospel. We will care nothing about Jesus Christ. We might know it here, but we couldn't tell you anything in our hearts, which we're all born in sin, shaped in iniquity. We're all in, we all have free will here in this type of way where we're free to do whatever we want to do, except come to God. None of us would ever choose God. So I hope you can see how this answer is a bit nuanced, but our will is not completely free, obviously, because it's bound to sin nature. That is for every human being. Our will is bound to sin nature until God impedes on that will and changes our will. But how does he do that? That is through predestination. And that'll be our next video. God bless you.